Hey Wolfpack, today is October 30th, 2019, and this is your Wolfpack News. Daniel Hazeltine. Preston Welch. Hey Wolfpack, my name is Jacob Panoski and this is your international news. Earlier this week, President Donald Trump declared ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi dead at a press conference in the White House. Baghdadi has been subject of an international manhunt for years and has been incorrectly reported as dead or injured multiple times. Baghdadi's death is another defeat for ISIS, which has faced increasing pressure in recent years. The terror group has lost its last stronghold in Syria in March. This has slowed down ISIS, but some are concerned about the raised terror threats from their unhappy followers. Hey Wolfpack, my name is Michael Wilson, and on Monday, October 28th, we had a celebration event for honorable students as well as excellent attendance. Students had pizza and delicious desserts. We even had a raffle where some students got Papa G's passes while others received Wolfpack shirts. Some of the dessert were made by our wonderful staff. Many thanks to Miss Greenwood for the homemade pumpkin pie crumble cake. Thank you all staff who made this event possible. Hey Gabe, what do you think of today's events? It's pretty gnarly. And yeah. Very yeah, pretty pretty awesome. Oh I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Delete that. Hey on W P R R. Right? P W P R R Wolf Pack R R. Period. We got it down pat. What's up? Friday, uh, October 28th, 2019, Ben Askren was set to take on Damian Maya. With both fighters being especially good on the ground, Askren being a former Olympic wrestler, and Maya being a renowned Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner, also regarded as one of the best grapplers in UFC. We were expecting to see some early submission attempts in the first round. Much to our surprise, though, most of the early rounds ended up being standing and striking fights. With neither fighter being a striker, though, this led to a very uneventful bout. Leading up to the third round, they canceled each other out with multiple reversals until Maya caught Askren in a rear naked choke, submitting him, ending this fight within three minutes of the first, three minutes of the third round. Now this is Askren's second UFC loss in his whole entire career. The first one was his previous fight against Jorge Masvidal, who now has the fastest UFC knockout by flying knee within five seconds of the first round. Welcome to the Big Brain Challenge. Information guaranteed to blow your mind. I am the smartest man alive! Hey Wolfpack, I'm Jacob Wise, and this is the Big Brain Challenge. During the season, most people think about a few things. The leaves falling off trees, Halloween, and pumpkin carving. You may think that you have carved a huge pumpkin before. But there are much larger pumpkins recorded in history. What was the recorded weight of the heaviest pumpkin in the world? A. 3,375 pounds. B. 2,624 pounds. C. 2,378 pounds. Or D. 984 pounds. The answer is B, 
The record was set on October 9th, 2016 in Ludwigsburg, Germany by Matthias Willemann James. Yeah. Hey Wolfpack, I'm Jacob Panoski, and I'm here with some out of this world news. Astronomers using ESO Sphere instrument at the Very Large Telescope, otherwise known as the VLT, have revealed that the asteroid Hygieia could be classified as a dwarf planet. The object is the fourth largest in the asteroid belt after Ceres, Vesta, and Pallas. For the first time, astronomers have observed Hygieia in significantly high resolution to study its surface and determine its shape and size. They found that Hygieia is spherical and could potentially take the crown from Ceres as the smallest dwarf planet in the solar system. As an object in the main asteroid belt, Hygieia satisfies right away three of the four requirements to be classified as a dwarf planet. It orbits around the sun, it's not a moon, and unlike a planet, it's not cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. The final requirement is that it has to have enough mass for its own gravity to pull in a roughly spherical shape. Awesome. <laughs> We had a marvelous time. Those were good days. Hi, I'm Jacob Panoski, and here's your joke of the day. Have you heard the joke about a car with no brakes? It will have you rolling. <laughs> That's it for today's broadcast, and remember, if it's news, it's at the Academy.